I'm excited to be part of OESD's launch of their very first summertime patriotic tile scene quilt collection. Summer glory is here and you can click on the links below this YouTube video to find out more. Number one, to download this collection immediately so you can get started and have something special for this year. Hi, I'm Sarah from SewingMastery.com and I used to work for Oklahoma Embroidery Supply and Design many years ago and I love following them through all of their creations. And over the last couple years, the tile scenes, usually during the holidays, are so popular in our store. Now I'm gonna give you some tips of what you need to be successful for stitching something like this out. So number one, you don't need a very big embroidery hoop at all. Only a five by seven hoop size. You can do this on practically any embroidery machine. Once you've downloaded the designs from the links below, you can get started right away. Of course, if you would prefer a CD, you can order that as well, or work locally with your Oklahoma embroidery retailer in your area. So what do you need for stabilizers? First off, you wanna be using fusible woven interfacing on the back of your background fabric. So for this, we chose just that nice, beautiful, light blue fabric that would be perfect for all those stitches to be created on. That background is gonna come through a lot of the flower areas and really make those flags pop out. So by putting fusible woven on the back of your fabric, that's gonna help make sure that this fabric doesn't shrink in. We definitely don't want puckers after doing all of this work. Next, you are going to want two layers hooped up with this fabric of the heavy weight tearaway stabilizer. Again, I'll put links below so you can check out everything that you need, including a list of threads that are used for this entire project. Can't you see this hanging in your home? People are gonna think of it as a photograph, a work of art, and it's something that you can create on your embroidery machine all with the red. Now, if you're thinking, Sarah, that looks way too complex, I invite you to check out our Embroidery Essentials online course, where I can teach you the basics and master your embroidery machine. So when you wanna do projects like this, this is not intimidating. All this is, is just multiple designs that are stitched out and then sewn together. We usually layer it with a little batting and then just stitch in the ditch and finish with the binding. It's that easy. Now I decided to put on a patriotic jacket that I did a while ago, also from using the designs from Oklahoma Embroidery or embroideryonline.com. And I wanna show you, I've added fireworks to the collars, uh, a little bit on each of the cuffs, and this is the design I chose for the back. So again, I'll put links for this particular eagle and those fireworks that were kind of combined together to create the design on the back. So I hope that you'll be inspired to try something new, try some new stabilizers. This is a one way where if stabilizers are still confusing for you, you will find that by using them, trying something new, make sure you don't skimp and just use the stuff you have because you don't know if that's the right stuff, buy the ones that are required for the project, be successful the first time you sit down and stitch that very first block. Trust me, it's worth it. So again, thank you for watching. If you do find any of our videos helpful, please give our channel a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified when we post new videos for all types of sewing, serging, and embroidery tutorials. And I hope to see you in one of our online courses soon.